So here's our real problem. Ashley bought 15 pencils. She lost four pencils. How many pencils does she have left? Hmm. So we have our whole, which is 15, and our part is four. Would this be a subtraction problem, as in taking away, or an addition problem when we put together? Hmm. Take a moment and think. You're right. It's a subtraction problem when we're taking away. So, which method would we use? Would we use a take from 10 or the counting on method? Take a moment and pause this video. Pause it. You have one minute to complete this work. So let me see what you have. If you did a take from 10 method, your problem should look like this. Where you break 15 apart and you make a 10 frame. But in your 10 frame, you are taking away four, which is the part from the 10. And you end up with 10 take away four equals six, which is on this side, you see you have six left. But on the other side, you have five. So you would add a six and a five, which would give you the 11 for the number amount together. And then you end up with an equation. Wait, pause. If six plus five equal 11, and I'm trying to figure out 15 minus four, what would be the answer? I think it would be 15 minus four equal 11. So Ashley would have 11 pencils. That's if you did the 10. The 10, take from 10. But if you did the count all method, which I did, you have 15 take away four, but you don't know the answer. But you're gonna start with four, and you're gonna think to yourself, think, how much more does four need to get to 10? And the answer is six. But then, how much does 10 need to get to 15? Which is five. So six plus five equal 11, which means 15 take away four equals 11. So Ashley has 11 pencils left. Wow, talk about showing your work. If you completed this, please send a picture to your, send a picture to your teachers and let them know that you completed your math work and you stretched your brain. You guys are awesome.